What inspired you to write Scavengers? Uh, true story, Scavengers actually started with a ham sandwich. Um, <laughs> a few years ago, I was at our local recycling centre, um, Calverton Recycling Centre, and I was there to get rid of some garden waste. And while I was waiting in the queue of cars, um, I was watching the guys work in there, and they were having a lunch break. One of them finished the sandwich and left their crust and threw it aside. And when it landed, all these cats came pouring out from under trees and uh, from under skips and bins to fight over this bit of ham sandwich. And I just thought, oh, that's interesting. And I looked around, I saw all the birds are living in the rubbish. And I thought, what sort of animals make their habitat in this place where humans leave their rubbish? And it just came to me. What if a man lived in the rubbish? What if a human did? And I had this image of a big bushy guy living in the rubbish. And that guy became Babagoo. Um, so he was really, this guy really stayed with me. You know, why is he living in the rubbish? Has he binned himself? Does he feel binned by society? And I googled people leaving in the rubbish to see if I'd get more ideas. And um, I found these amazing pictures, a heartbreaking too, of uh, in developing countries, these massive landfill sites where communities live on the rubbish, scavenging to survive. And uh, there were children there. And even though they live amongst all the rats and the cockroaches and the danger of the rubbish and that kind of thing, they were still playing games. They were still being kids. They were still part of a community. They were still, they had dignity and they were smiling at the cameras and they were, you know, being kids. And that really moved me. Uh, and that's how I knew I would have to write something about a child living in rubbish, a bit like this. And I combined that with the guy I thought of before, the big bushy guy. So I kind of had like a, a parent figure and a child living in a kind of wasteland landscape. And following that, I researched, um, I needed a more closed off setting to, for the story I had in mind. So I looked up um, abandoned kind of industrial wastelands and I found a coal processing plant called the Quam Coke Works. A real place, abandoned, all rusty and decaying. But um, I thought, what well, if I put these people, these characters in that setting and really turned up the nature, all the sort of weeds and animals and vines and creepers and flowers? What if I really filled this industrial wasteland with all that kind of nature? I'd have a kind of junkyard jungle book. And that's when it clicked. That's when I knew uh, I had something. And that's kind of where scavengers went from.